What is up everybody and welcome back to another Among Us video and in this video I'll be telling you about a death note in Among Us and why you should never open it. There is a secret death note in Among Us that has been hiding many dark secrets from all of us and I'm here to reveal everything that I witnessed while opening up the death note. Several events took place in this game of Among Us and you won't believe what happened next so you don't want to miss this. And before we get any further into this video 70% of you have not hit that subscribe button, which means they are missing out on Among Us Darkest Secrets. So why not solve that issue by hitting the subscribe button with the bell icon turned on. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to leave a like down below. But now, let's begin with today's story video. So you may be wondering, what is a death note? Well, a death note looks like a regular school book that contains white pages and is usually activated when someone's name is written on it. And you may be asking the question, what is it doing in Among Us? Well, there's a similar event taking place on Among Us with the chat option. In certain lobbies, if you open up the chat and you see the word kill, with the player's name right after, you should be very careful because you're most likely one of these scary lobbies and you will see what I'm talking about later on in this video. And another question you may be asking, who is the player behind this death note? Well, there's a player in Among Us known as a crewmate of death. That is a nickname that people gave him, but his actual name is Azrael, who is known to write your name in the chat with the word kill. But here's the thing, he doesn't kill you while you're doing your task. He takes you out during the meetings where you're defenseless and unable to run. That is why he's one of the most dangerous players in all of Among Us. And I'm here to tell you my story. So my encounter with the crewmate of death happened while I was playing a regular match of Scaled. I was wandering around the dropship and a crewmate randomly came, which appears to be the sky. And his name was crewmate of death. I was pretty surprised at first, but what became shocking was when he changed his name to Azrael. The match started and I was a crewmate, and I stared at him in disbelief. He randomly changed his name in the lobby, which is a feature that is impossible in Among Us. I tried my best to ignore it until we called a meeting. I typed in the chat what happened, and Azrael typed in the chat kill Michu. Kill Michu I asked. What does that mean? And when I looked at the voting session, Michu was no longer there. I opened up the chat, and Azrael said kill BTS. I checked the voting session, and BTS was gone. So this player is somehow killing the crewmates during voting sessions. And all he has to do is type their name in the chat. I let the rest of the players know that two crewmates died in the meeting. And I was really confused. A few seconds later and Azrael typed in the chat, kill Vanessa. I then responded with, oh no, how? We are in the meeting. And when we all skipped, Vanessa was gone. In the cafeteria, we could see the body of the three crewmates that Azrael took out in the middle of the meeting. I typed in the chat what the bodies there was three bodies in the cafeteria as rail then typed in the chat kill veteran and he followed up with kill crew poster i asked the crewmates what is going on hopefully someone has an answer for this kill veteran and crew poster i was so confused on how the crewmates were dying in the meeting and I could also see in the voting session that they were both gone. In the cafeteria, I could once again see the bodies of the fallen crewmates. I reported one of the bodies and I wanted to see what would happen next. We are in the end game now, so let's see what happens. As I opened the chat, as Rail type kill new update, I then followed up with two bodies. That's five crewmates down. And new update was body number 6. It was now only 4 of us left. And as Rao typed in the chat kill YI. New update is dead. And now Lime. There's only 3 of us now. But who will be next? I responded to as Rao it is you. And I wanted to try to vote him out. But both players skipped. When we all spawned in. The two bodies were there as expected. I once again reported the body. I typed in the chat. Bundles we should vote for Azrael. Two against one. Azrael typed in the chat kill Chari. And he won the game. After that match ended, I got into another game with him. In the cafeteria, the doors were closed. I made my way over to Azrael, and he started to move, and he eliminated blue. Yellow was then eliminated, and so was purple. Dark green was up next, then came orange. I entered in a panic, and I went to go press the button, and it wasn't letting me. Azrael started to vent, and I started to chase him down. I was trying to protect Lime, and he killed him. I stared him down. I can't believe you're doing this. You just eliminated the entire lobby right in front of my eyes and I could do nothing to protect the crewmates. 
even if my life depended on it. It was now just me and Vanessa, and I'm gonna try my best to protect this crewmate, because so many crewmates were eliminated right in front of me, and I could do nothing to save them. I tried to stay as close to Vanessa, and Ezra teleported right next to me. He then changed his name to Kill Chari, and I was eliminated, and he won the game. But why is his name Kill Chari? What did I ever do? I have never encountered him before. Who sent him? When we all spawned back into the dropship, I was really disappointed. I opened up the chat and I said so many crewmates died. In the cafeteria. I could not report anyone. And as Rail started to spam in the chat, kill Chari. I kept seeing the same message over and over again. But why does Azrael hate me? Why is he only targeting me when he eliminated the other crewmates earlier? But before I could respond, I was banned from the room. If you would like me to encounter Azrael once again in Among Us, let's see if we can get this video to 30,000 likes. I do also want to give a massive shout out to Kitty King for helping me produce this video. If you would like to help out a smaller creator, make sure to go check out his channel and subscribe to him. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more Among Us story videos, make sure that you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on. And check out these other Among Us story videos that are found on my channel.